I'm going to show you how to create an equation in y equals mx plus b form when you're just given a verbal statement. So y equals mx plus b is slope intercept form. m is your slope, which is the same thing as the rate of change. So this just means if you're given a verbal statement, rate of change, how quickly something's changing. And most of the time when it's a verbal statement, it's what it's increasing or decreasing by. So I'm just gonna write that out. What, whatever you're talking about, what it's increasing or decreasing by. And if you're talking about increasing and decreasing, and well, this is math, so we have to think of positive and negative. So if it's increasing, it would be a positive value, and if it's decreasing, a negative value. B is that y-intercept, or initial value, just different ways of saying it. Initial value, it just means a starting point. So what did you start with? Where did you start? So I'm gonna write that down, starting point. Okay, this first problem, Tanner already had $1,000 in his savings account, and he is planning on putting $100 into his savings account each month. Create an equation that represents the amount of money, Y, Tanner will have in his savings account after X months. So, we're given, he already has $1,000 in a savings account. That's what he already has. So he's starting with that value. So that's B, our initial value or starting point. I'm just gonna put a B next to it so I remember that. He is planning on putting 100 into a savings account each month. So he's adding this every month. He's putting it in every month. So this is what we're, in this case, increasing by. So that would be M. And because it's increasing, it's positive. So putting it in this form, keeping x and y as the variables, it is y equals m, which is 100, the slope or rate of change is 100, times x, plus that initial value or starting point, which was 1,000. All right. Let's try this one out. Anna has already made four necklaces and she plans on making five necklaces a day. Create an equation that represents the number of necklaces Y Anna has made after X days. Okay, well, she has already made four necklaces, meaning she already starts with that. That's the starting point, so that's B. She plans on making five necklaces a day. That's what she's increasing by. Every single day she's gonna make five more. So, rate of change, or m. So plug those values into the equation. y equals mx, and m is 5, so it's y equals 5x, plus b, which is 4. And just one more. Spencer, oh, two more, sorry. Colton charges a $50 fee plus $40 an hour for his electrical service. Create an equation that represents the total cost Y for Colton's electrical services after X hours. So, he charges a $50 fee, meaning when he, when he shows up to do electrical work, he's gonna charge you a fee. So that's the starting amount. Without even working at all just to show up, usually there's a fee. Check out what's going on. So this is the initial value, or B, plus it's $40 an hour. So every hour, it's increasing by $40 that you're going to pay Colton. So that's M, your rate of change. So the equation is Y equals MX, or 40X, plus B, so plus 50. All right, now the last one. Spencer has already shot 500 foul shots in the off season 
and he plans on shooting 50 foul shots a day during practice. Determine how many foul shots Y Spencer will shoot after X days of practice. Well, what did he start with? He already had shot 500 foul shots in the off season. So that's his starting point, so that's B. He plans on shooting 50 foul shots a day, so every single day he's gonna, going to increase by 50. So that's our M, rate of change. So the equation, y equals mx, so 50x, plus b, so plus 500. Whoops, almost forgot the x. <laughs> y equals 50x plus 500.